Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. This week's video is dedicated once again as a Refu Shalema for Yisrael Amicha Ben Sara, and this is also a dedication to the great Torah teacher, Rabbi Victor Miller, a blessed memory who today is his yard site. He passed away 18 years ago today, of 2001, excuse me, 17 years ago today. And I just want to share an idea with you that he explained in this week's parasha. In this week's parasha, we learn about the story that Aaron's two sons died while performing the service in the temple during the inauguration ceremony. And upon their death, Moshe, Aaron's brother, tells Aaron and his two remaining sons that they were not allowed to show any signs of mourning, being that it was the inauguration service of the temple, and so therefore it was a holy time. And at the same time, the verse says, Vayifku kol beis Yisrael. All the Jewish brothers of, of Moshe, Aram, the all of Israel considered brothers, and everybody else should cry. And our sages learn from over here that when it comes to other people's suffering, we realize our own, our, our own obligation towards them to grieve at their own loss, at their own suffering. Now, even though we have a maxim that we have to believe everything is from Hashem and everything is good, it's especially so when it happens to our to ourselves. But when it happens to others, we have an obligation to also grieve towards them. This concept is called a no se ba'ol im chavero. We have to feel the pain of others. Now, generally, we understand that that's to mean is, is that it's a simple character trait. Your own friend is suffering. Your own family member is suffering. You have to feel their pain. You have to feel their pain because you have to commiserate along with them. And you have to show that you actually are troubled by whatever is troubling them. And why? Because that engenders a unity among, among us. It's Hopefully this is a concept that should be understood by anybody with a little feelings towards other people. We want to share in their grief because we want to show that we care for them and that we are there for them. But Rabbi Miller is teaching us slightly deeper than that. And in, in the sense that people that suffer are in a certain ways leaders and that Suffering happens for many reasons. And one of the reasons is, is that the suffering of one person, it can somehow engender an incredible effect on other people that they, the other people, they themselves don't have to suffer. Let's say, for example, somebody passes away. Let's say a young child passes away and the parents are suffering in the fact that they lost their child. Now Hashem actually made those parents leaders in the sense that when they suffer and everybody else suffers along with them, so the, the, the people of that town or of that city or whatever it may be, depending on how popular the parents are, may have, in, may have themselves gained the lesson of the fact that this poor child passed away and it causes them to change their ways, that Hashem shouldn't send any suffering about, upon them. And so therefore... When we're no se ba'olim chaveri, when we care about somebody else's suffering, we certainly do it for them. But if we thereby gain the lesson as well, and we make sure that that child did not die in vain, or that person that got sick did not get sick in vain, and we use the, utilize that lesson of their sickness to change ourselves, that is the ve'yifku kal beis that all of the Jewish people will cry and either mourn or, or feel the pain and change themselves thereby. And therefore the parents of that child have been especially chosen by Hashem to be the leaders in allowing other people to change their ways. It engenders other people to change in their ways. And therefore that person's death or that person's suffering thereby becomes a merit in which certainly Hashem will repay them eternally for. And so this is an incredible lesson of our responsibility towards our brothers and sisters in that when we do mourn for them or when we do grieve for them or when we do feel their suffering we're feeling it ourselves to internalize it into ourselves and we make sure that we ourselves change and if we don't change in a certain sense as we discussed before they may have suffered for nothing and therefore that lesson is completely lost and therefore when when they were suffering Aaron and his two brothers Hashem specifically told Moshe and Moshe specifically told Aaron and his brothers do not show any mourning at this specific time because of what it was but ultimately all of the Jewish people will realize what it was that was lost. And when Rabbi Avigdor Miller passed away, 
Anybody who may have been there would have noticed that there were close to 10,000 people on Ocean Parkway in Brooklyn that realized the immense loss for all the Jewish people. Uh, and An irreplaceable leader, like my father said, it was the perfect way to, he was irreplaceable. He knew the answers to almost every question, to accept questions on any subject, and he had very solid answers. It was, uh, it obviously takes a lot more time to talk about him. But he was certainly irreplaceable. In his death alone, we have we ourselves had to try to get better in our own lives, which is certainly something that he would have done. He was a Kohen, which is talked about in this week's parsha, and he said that the Kohen were always the ones that would that would be teachers throughout the generations. And he's matter of fact, he explained the word Kohen meant Kohen. Here, it should be done like this, and um, he's certainly somebody that we should definitely change uh, our own lives, not only because of him, but anybody that suffers and any loss that we suffer, we should learn from the loss, we should gain from the loss, and we will certainly have eternal reward as well. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and I hope you have a wonderful and sweet life from here on out as well. Take care.